Yes, 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 Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana, yes, tamu sana. Yesterday, President Uhuru Kenyatta, Raila Odinga, and Senator Gideon Moi attended a function in Nakuru County. Yes. And during that time, or rather in that function, President Uhuru Kenyatta seemingly endorsed Raila Molo Odinga for presidency next year. And then there is a photo that has really been going viral since yesterday. This is a photo of Raila Molo Odinga and Gideon Moi holding hands together. And that photo has actually been generating a lot of political heat and debate. So Bonnie Anuale has also been roped in, in, into the whole thing and taking to his social media accounts, Bonnie Aluwale had this to say. Dr. Bonnie Haluwale, CBS. Dynasties have decided a candidate and his running mate. And then he shares that photo of Raila Molo Odinga and Gideon Moi holding hands together. And that tweet from Bonnie Aluwale has really caused a lot of political heat, debate, across the political divide. In fact, some Kenyans were bold to ask Bonialuale what his father was doing when others were becoming dynasties. <laughs> and from some funny reaction, some even insinuated that Bonialuale's father was busy adding more wives and taking Busa or Changa. So it has been a very lively debate going through the comments after Bonialuale posted that. So in this video, ladies and gentlemen, I want us to really understand, is it possible that Gideon Moi, with what is currently happening in Kenya today, can be Raila's running mate come next year's presidential election? That's our analysis and discussion right now. Yes. For quite some time, and for those who have been following me in this YouTube channel, will attest to that. I'm one person who even as of today, as of now, something still tells me that eventually we might just have Raila Molo Odinga going for the presidency and Gideon Moi going as his running mate. I know as of now, in Raila and Uhuru's camps, they are inner circles. They have largely agreed that Raila Molo Odinga has to pick a, a running mate from Mount Kenya. That is something that has been widely agreed in the inner circles of Raila Molo Odinga and President Uhuru Migai Kenyatta. But something still, still tells me that after all has been said and done, we might eventually find Raila Molo Odinga picking Gideon Moi as his running mate. And I'm saying that because of this. You know, immediately, Uhuru Kenyatta and Raila Molo Odinga shook hands. In fact, during that time, and Raila has also come out to insinuate on that, it was the idea of even Raila Molo Odinga being supported for the presidency. I think at that time, it was not all that active. And I tend to believe when Raila and Uhuru shook hands, I, I tend to believe that was not their immediate agreement. They first wanted to bring Kenyans together. After that, after that, things would just fall in place. But you will likely agree with me, ladies and gentlemen, that Uhuru Kenyatta, he likely preferred a Gideon Moy candidate. But what has hindered that is the Mount Kenya factor. The mountain seems to be split. The mountain seems to be unpredictable. So in the event Gideon Moi is fronted for the presidency, that he might be labeled a project, and also because Gideon Moi has totally no support on the ground, then that kind of an idea can be dealt a big blow. It can fail. But now with Raila Molo Odinga as the presidential candidate, and then with what we are seeing happening as of today, seemingly Kalonzo Musioka, might decide to work with Raila Molo Odinga. Mudawadi seems undecided. 
In fact, it's widely believed he might decide to go it alone, or even most likely to work with William Ruto. But even if Musalia balls out from Raila's inner, inner circle or from Raila's side, it's still a given fact that Raila most definitely will have a majority of the Mulembe vote, irrespective of whether Musalia contests or whether he works with William Ruto. That seems to be the reality on the ground. But one thing I've always maintained and I still believe that when our politics will still get, will get charged properly, when Uhuru Kenyatta will come out boldly on the mountain to state his preferred candidate, Raila Molo Odinga. In fact, in the recent days, Uhuru sometimes was in Kibra and he endorsed Raila Molo Odinga, though some people never seen that. I did that analysis yesterday, though it's an analysis we did some few months ago. And then yesterday again, Uhuru Kenyatta seemingly just endorsed Raila Molo Odinga in Akuru. So we have never seen Uhuru Kenyatta actually pushing that very, very strongly. I believe from other sources that that's a very well calculated strategy. Mm. Things mumble pole pole because they're still trying to manage all these Oka things kind of power sharing and all those such kind of things. But I strongly believe, ladies and gentlemen, that with Kalonzo on Raila's side, Uhuru on Raila's side, and the kind of support Raila attracts across the country, even if Gideon Moi will be Raila's running mate, with Kalonzo supporting that idea, Uhuru supporting that idea, Raila Molo Odinga, Gideon Moi ticket will still carry the day. And I'm saying that without any doubt at all. And let, let's look at it from this perspective. Assuming today, ladies and gentlemen, or let's borrow a little, because some people believe that if Raila fails to appoint a running mate from Mount Kenya, then Raila will lose the mountain vote. But I don't think that is the case. Because I strongly believe that as long as Uhuru Migai Kenyatta will be Mount Kenya's kingpin, come 2022 election. It does not matter who Raila will appoint as his running mate, as long as Uhuru Kenyatta will support Raila Molo Odinga. I'm fully convinced that largely, the mountain will still vote for Raila Molo Odinga, irrespective of whether Raila picks a running mate from the mountain or not. And we have not yet forgotten, sometimes back, 2013, Musalia Mudavadi contested for the presidency, and Kenyans can still remember. He picked a running mate from Mount Kenya, Jeremiah Kioni, mm -hmm. eh? Maragua member of parliament. He picked a running mate from there. But still, it's widely believed that even in Jeremiah Kioni's own polling station, Musalia Mudavadi got zero votes. In fact, during that time, Raila's running mate was Kalonzo Musioka. But still Raila beat Musalia Mudavadi even in the game of vote, for the game of vote, or rather in central. So I tend to believe, ladies and gentlemen, that as long as Uhuru Kenyatta will support Raila Molo Odinga, and Uhuru Kenyatta will be the kingpin of the mountain, residents of Mount Kenya will still largely follow the direction Uhuru gives whether Raila will pick a running mate from the mountain or not. Same to William Ruto. You know, as of today, there, there are some good number mm, of residents of the mountain still supporting William Ruto. Though I believe that's a borrowed support. Imagine they're still supporting William Ruto, but Ruto has not even identified or settled on a running mate from Mount Kenya. So I tend to believe, ladies and gentlemen, that looking at the crop of leaders we have today on the mountain. If we leave the Ameru vote, the Meru vote, the Hikuyu vote largely, there is no person who has come out as a kingpin, save for Uru Migai Kenyatta. Whether Raila picks Mother Karua or not, whether Raila picks who, it will matter, it won't matter, as long as Uru Kenyatta supports Raila Molodina. Whether Ruto picks Mata Karua or not, it will not matter. What will matter is the ethnic kingpin, the direction the ethnic kingpin will give.
So from where I sit, ladies and gentlemen, this is a discussion I've always tried to, <clears throat> to I've always tried to try to explain this kind of a narrative. Though a majority of views in most occasions always differ with that. But I still believe that Araila Mulo Odinga, Gideon Mui kind of a ticket, is no, not perfect. As Kenyans are talking about Raila picking a running mate from the mountain, Kenyans must also be alive to the fact that eventually we might just have Raila Mulo Odinga going for the presidency with Gideon Mui as his running mate. That's not a remote possibility. It's something that is still very, very active, and I strongly believe it might just end up happening. Otherwise, ladies and gentlemen, before I conclude, if you've just bumped on this YouTube channel for the very, very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. Give it a like, please. Give it a like. And to those who are watching us outside Kenya, drop a comment, let us know from which part of the globe you are watching us from. Drop a comment, please. And to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very, very much humbled for the kind of support you are giving me here by constantly giving our videos likes, constantly dropping your comments. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Tamu sana. Tamu sana. Tamu sana.